Hello, hi, my name is Sam and welcome to Science Center of Education. And uh, today um, I have received actually numerous comments by IELTS aspirants asking me about making a video of journal category as well. So I am making a video, this video is for IELTS letters. Right. So today we are going to do a formal letter. Now, as we know that there are three categories of letters, formal, informal, semi-formals, right? So the formal letter, I will definitely be making another video just of the overview of, you know, like how exactly we can write letters, how we can express ourselves when we are especially writing, you know, our informal letters towards our friends and all, and how we can categorize what kind of letter is semi-formal, what kind of letter is formal. Right. Because obviously, when you're receiving a letter asking about your friend, you know, uh, telling him to look after something or someone, you know, and so these kinds of letters are informal, obviously, because you're requesting a friend to do something for you or inviting them at home for dinner, lunch or anything like that. Now, when we are talking about in corporate world, right, so over there, we look at semi-formal and formal. Now, if you're talking about your colleagues or any allies, you know, in your workplace, so definitely that would be semi-formal. However, if you're adding to, you know, like your superiors whom you don't know, right? You don't know whether it's a male or female, that is utterly formal. Now this letter, <clears throat> as we can see, the topic says to us, you live in an apartment building, but are having trouble with the behavior of your neighbors. Write a letter to inform the building manager of the situation in your letter. First bullet point is explain who you are. So you need to introduce yourself. Second, describe the situation concerning your neighbor's behavior. So why they are, you know, like what they are doing and what kind of behavior they have, which you don't like. And suggest how the situation could be dealt with. Right. So we need to make now, as we can see, there are three paragraphs we'll be making. Okay, three many small paragraphs will be making, but <clears throat> when we are citing any letter, right? Remember one thing, as I always spoke about, you know, giving your overview and in introduction also that fulfills your task response. Right. So here also, what you have to do is you, when you start your letter, you have to write the very first line. You know, that is a very small paragraph in which you'll be introducing that what is let this letter is about. Well, that is a journal overview, just like in academic, you know, we write letter or uh, sorry, we write task or task one in that we have bar graph and everything, you know, in that the very first paragraph after, you know, this graph illustrates paraphrasing, you have the next is overview, right? Never write any conclusion in the end, please don't, right? So I will definitely make that video as well. Now, in this letter, let's focus on here. So as I'm very fond of finding keywords and all, let's look at that. You live in an apartment building. So that is a main content, apartment building you're living. So think about what else you can say to apartment building. You, um, now in America and in Canadian, right? There's a very common word, it's condos. You know, they're known as condos. Those are actually quite relevant to apartments, right? So the vocab for today, I'm going to use is first of all now these we can't just write condos because that would be slang that will be condo right so we're talking about the apartments remember right so condominiums now condominium is basically your apartment this is in us right and in america and in canada right <clears throat> so that is your apartment building but are having trouble with the behavior of your neighbors right now your neighbors so you have your neighbors living right next to you in an apartment obviously you know like uh, now this is how you have your you know rooms so 5a 5b 5c 3a 3b 3b b c right so you have this kind of numbering system in your apartments so here I'm going to be talking about like my apartment. Why? Because obviously explain who you are introduction. I'll be writing. Okay. I'll be just thinking of any random number I will be picking. Now let's focus on behavior of your neighbors. What kind of behavior? 
let's say now obviously you know like uh, you're a student or you're a working professional right because you're writing a journal so you're a working professional now you know how in this uh, contemporary era we have so much work to do now we have long working hours right i have done that book have with you prolonged prolonged working hours now you wake up early you get ready you go to work you come back home right all you want is after having a nice meal and all is just a good sleep right but these neighbors right who are youngsters let's make youngsters yeah they, they play music loud and which really disturbs your sleep right so we can pick on that idea that it is basically because of their excessive loud music played you know it disturbs my sleep right so now incredibly loud music we will be using the word or you can also use the word raucous raucous also means you know harsh music right like something very loud right which is irritating to you raucous that means raucous now explain who you are so i'll be writing my name right and where do i live okay uh, obviously uh, describe the situation concerning your neighbor's behavior so in this paragraph uh, i'm going to write about you know like how long i have been living here so just to show that how good resident i am right and uh, like my time has always been so good so far until you know these just youngsters these young blokes you know they just popped in okay they started doing this this and it which really disturbs my sleep blah 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 suggest how the situation could be dealt in obviously now think about this you know we cannot never ever ask the you know building manager to kick them out or something you know we can just ask him politely like we can just request them that you should just talk to them right make them understand what are the rules and regulations right of living in this condominium okay we're going to describe that so let's begin writing our letter now since it's a formal letter so we should start always with dear sir okay you can write with dear sir or madam or something dear sir or madam comma right remember your placement of comma does count okay don't write comma after like a kilometer or something <laughs> you know you can write up here comma no that's wrong okay so comma has to be next to the ending alphabet so dear sir madam now <clears throat> since we are writing to building manager we don't know who he or she is okay we are talking about building manager right you remember you are not writing to a landlord landlord is a person whose last name will be addressing that would turn out to be a semi formal letter okay then we'll be writing just dear mr last name or dear mrs ms or anything last name no first name only last name since this is a formal letter so formal letter we always address with sir or madam both need to be written not just dear sir or dear madam right dear sir or madam okay now the first is overview <coughs> sorry so why basically you are writing this letter that's what we need to write so let's start i am writing to you to complain i'm writing to you to complain about a recurring situation now recurring situation recurring this pronunciation recurring 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 means again and again something is that is happening right so i'm writing to you to complain about a recurring situation i have been now facing instead of facing always come up with words like confront or encounter you know you can use these words so i'm writing to you to complain about a recurring situation i have been encountering Encountering means facing. I have been encountering as a resident of now. Let's say any name you can create of the condominium, right? Of let's say 
मंजीत कॉन्डोमिनियम राइट सो आई एम राइटिंग टू यू नाउ दिस इज जस्ट वन स्मॉल वेरी शॉर्ट पैराग्राफ दिस इज जस्ट द ओवरव्यू वाई यूर राइटिंग दिस लेटर राइट सो यूर जस्ट एड्रेसिंग रिमेंबर यू हैव ओनली वन फिफ्टी वर्ड्स टू राइट obviously if you are you know if you want to score more so you your letter need to be like 180 or 200 it doesn't matter please anyone say that you know like you have to go like 180 200 210 you will deduct marks no your marks never get deducted okay it's just that less than 150 definitely there will be penalty right if you are writing anything see if you are intending to have band 7 band 8 okay i would definitely say that your letter should be between 180 something One day two hundred, right? Why I'm telling you because a little bit extra sentences, which means your strong grammar, right? Grammar gives you one point five to two band score, and okay. So strong grammar means I wouldn't be saying the simple sentences. No, your sentences need to be compound complex. You can never get it at one fifty. Otherwise, you won't be able to explain. Sentences will be on assumption, right? Now this is your first paragraph. I am writing to you to complain about a recurring situation I have been encountering as a resident of Manji Condominium. Right now, next paragraph. So we had the question number one was uh, explain who you are. So your introduction. We we'll just write our introduction. So let's start our paragraph with my name is. your full name so you need to write my name is samit lekhi and i am a dweller dweller means resident okay and i am a dweller of apartment 5a why right, that's the number i'm picking so 5a I don't need to write now five A of Manjeet Condominium, right? Because I've already mentioned it, so we need not write any more. So my name is Samir Lekhi, and I am a dweller of apartment five A. I have been living in my condominium. for the last 3 years now let's make a compound sentence right so i have been living in my condominium for the last 3 years and the first two and the first two were very enjoyable right so my name is samir lekhi and i am i'm not putting any contractions on anything right not even i'll be writing so or like because remember this is a formal letter we are not going to use any contractions or anything like that okay so i have been living in my condominium for the last 3 years and the first two were enjoy very enjoyable so i'm going to mention something about this current right the the third year i have been facing problem so recurring i'm just proving for the most part now are you happy still so it's not that i am sad or anything i just need to show that what actually i'm facing problem right the concern so for the most part i am still now satisfied in spite of satisfied gratified you can use or content right so let's write content for the most part i am still content uh, i am still content with my overall living right for the most part i'm still content satisfied with my overall living situation now let's take a look here why did i write i'm still 
for the most part why did i choose to write this the reason being this particular sentence reflects some concern of mine right now obviously as we read now i have been living in my condominium for the last 3 years and the first two were very enjoyable so first two which means the problem is coming in the third year for the most part of this third year right i am still content with my overall living situation it means ki if it chance in hindi ki main abhi bhi theek hai kafi satisfied hu of my current overall living situation jo mere living situation hai usme kafi had tak main satisfied hu which means kafi had tak yani kuch had tak main disturb hu theek hai so that relation we just made up this is your second paragraph we spoke about our introduction right now let's make another paragraph in this paragraph we need to describe so we need to describe now situation what situation it is right so what these blocks are doing let's talk about them now in third let's say however because why am i using this linker because in the previous line as you know i have written i am still for the most part i am still right enjoying or i am still satisfied with my overall living condition so which means there is something cause there is some reason you know for which i am not satisfied so that's why however contradicting however in the last year comma in the last year the condominiums on both sides so mere aas paas ke dono right mere dono condominiums mere aas paas ke mere bagal ke right the condominiums on both sides of mine were sold to the new neighbors now we can't just say you know like uh, they are very bad please kick them out or <laughs> no we can't say now let's just praise them a little bit right so they are very nice right so they are very nice now let's talk about the trouble but right now they are very nice but the trouble now what is the trouble but the trouble uh, they are very nice but the trouble is that they are quite young right they are quite young and have uh they are called yen and have a penchant let's say for coming home and have a penchant for coming home uh very late so they are having a habit of coming home very late right now they are but the trouble is that they are quite young kafi young hai aur unki ek aadat hai ki wo ghar bada late aate hai right they have a penchant of coming home very late theek hai ab jab wo ab jab koi young hai theek hai youngsters hain bachelors hain so they have a habit of you know playing music and enjoy themselves and all right it's not a party or something just for the rejuvenation they do that so that's why penchant for coming home very late and let's keep making sentence like compound and playing collocation music and playing music now let's do a c2 verse it's rocus rocus i told you harsh noise right very loud noise so playing music rocusly
R A U C O U S L Y. Now, which disturbs my sleep? That's it. This is just a concern paragraph, right? That why you're writing to him. This is your concern. So, however, in the last year, the condominiums on both sides of mine were sold to the new neighbors. They are very nice. Right? They are very nice. But the trouble is that they are quite young. The trouble is that they're quite young and have a penchant for coming home very late and have a habit of coming home very late and playing music raucously, right? And playing music, music raucously, loudly, right? Incredibly loud. So I'm just using incredibly loud. In spite of incredibly loud, I'm using raucously, right? Which disturbs my sleep. Okay. I hope this one's clear. Now let's write the last paragraph. The last paragraph was about suggestion. So you need to suggest to your, your the building manager how you need to get it rectified. Okay. Now, since it's a formal letter, so you can't say that, uh, you know, I beg you or I request you request. I mean, you can somewhere, you know, you can use those phrases. Okay. Uh, I will definitely be because in my classroom, in my Google classroom, I have all these notes, you know, what kind of phrases, where you can put them. Right. So I'll also make a video on that. Now let's write very nicely, polite, you know, polite manner. I would appreciate it's just a nice gesture, you know, using this. I would appreciate it if you. Now, don't worry about too much of putting, you know, like uh, those kind of structures that I tell you to write in task two. Okay. This is task one. Remember, you're writing a letter. You don't read anything, you know, too heavy. Okay. So I would appreciate it. Use, I mean, whatever you know, you know, whether it's grammatical structure or word C2 based, only if you're 100% sure. Otherwise, please do not because you're not impressing someone, although you are writing just your words, believe me, it's gonna you know, create some trouble if you're not able to put that appropriately. Okay, so I would appreciate it if you would speak, if you speak to my neighbors, uh, about this. Okay, so this, this is also very important. Believe me, you can't say that's, uh, you know, I have to write uh, the, situa the situation or, you know, about playing music too loud. No, this thing very counts. Okay, so I would appreciate it if you would speak to my neighbors about this. I, let's just say nicely, I do not want so don't kick them out or anything, you know, I do not want to cause them any trouble. So now you're giving a, you know, like a written complaint. So just, it's a nice way of saying that I don't want any trouble to them. Okay. Just talk to them nicely and let them know that, you know, you have a neighbor who has actually working professional, you know, he comes home late. So don't play your music <clears throat> too loud at this time so to cause them any trouble but i would like them to be reminded but i would like them to be reminded of the building regulations Right. So they need to be reminded about the building regulations, building regulations regarding, since we're talking about music, so regarding noise, right? You know, like when you obviously <clears throat> purchase any kind of apartment or condominium, you do have a checklist, right? Where you agree to the terms. And one of the terms is like, don't play music loudly after this certain period of time. But even if you want to, then you have to give a notice to your neighbors before, you know, like you're having a party or something. So the music will be played till this amount of time. Otherwise they have full right, you know, to call the cops. Right? 
so of the building regulations regarding noise and clearly understand that playing music that playing music loud at night is what right is adversely affecting so negatively adversely affecting their neighbors right so this is just your suggestion that you want right someone to basically or you want your building manager to talk to them nicely without me giving them any trouble uh, you know you should be talking to them you should be reminding them about the rules and regulations about you know like specifically of the noise right and clearly you know understand make them understand that playing music loud at night is only disturbing you know their neighbors so that's your suggestion okay now <clears throat> just end up by saying um you know you can simply write i look forward right i look forward to your response i look forward to your response right and then you can simply end up by saying yours since it's a formal letter faithfully right so you can simply write up in informal definitely there are different things i will show you in the another video so yours faithfully your name again samir lakey right no full stop or anything like that okay <clears throat> so once again i would appreciate it if you would speak to my neighbors about this i do not want to cause them any trouble but i would like them to be reminded so passive i would like them to be reminded of the building regulations regarding noise and clearly understand that playing music loud at night is adversely affecting their neighbors right this letter i chose to make because i vividly remember i had faced this kind of situation once in my life when i was in sydney so me and my couple of mates we were having a party right and it was already about i think uh, half past 11 or quarter to 12 later night when when two police officers they rocked up in my apartment so they came on someone's complaint right we were playing music and it was loud i don't deny the fact it was loud right so they came and uh, very nice you know people over there they they are not like unlike what we see here right? they were very nice and they were like you know we got a complaint so can you please load in the music and all the stuff so we did right now there are when you're living obviously in a condominium you have certain rules and regulations to follow so that is what you're suggesting to your building manager that you know you want him or her whosoever it is to go and talk to them or give in writing or something you know that's that's up to them but well, you're just suggesting that these guys that who are causing this kind of trouble should be reminded of the building rules and regulations okay all right so i hope the letter was clear to you right keep practicing write more and i will definitely be coming with a more videos right i'll make one uh, basic video of letters as well okay now in terms of my classes we are running again um, you know the sessions will be starting again next week for new batches for academic as well as journal category right here is a number already written here what you can send us a whatsapp message and one of us will definitely get back to you thank you so much for today have a good day ahead